Hello, Assalamualaikum and good morning. Um, welcome to um, another lecture. And the lecture uh, for today is entitled Reproducible Report. Um, the full lecture title actually is Reproducible Report with R Markdown. Um, <coughs> First of all, we need to understand what do we mean by reproducibility and replicability, okay? So, um, reproducibility means the ability to recompute results. It means that can you um, recompute or reanalyze your results, okay? Uh, the problem with uh, some software if you are using point and click okay you can do that today right you point and click you know point here point there point here point there however next week if i ask you to redo the analysis you might struggle because you have not remember or you have forgotten what you have point and click right so your results today might be different from what uh, your results next week because you have missed that step okay what if uh, i want you to reanalyze the data next month or next year are you confident enough to say that yes i can come out with the same results okay so that's why reproducibility is 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 important okay the ability to reproduce to recompute to reanalyze your results with confidence replicability means the chance uh, other experimenters will achieve a consist consistent results uh, replicability uh, is more relevant to experimentations uh, this is a nice paper written by Donald E. Nuth, uh, a paper with the title Literate Programming. Literate Programming, um, he's from the uh, Computer Science Department, Stanford University. This is uh, a paper, I think, perhaps in 1997. It is not a new paper, um, 13 years ago. Uh, where Donald Nath uh, talk about the importance of literate programming. So the question is, what is uh, literate programming? We know that programming uh, has something to do with you know how you do coding or programming, uh, writing codes. But what does it mean by literate? Okay. Uh, generally, we know that literate is the ability to understand, to comprehend. So, uh, I think, you know, in, in, in simple definition, literate programming, programming means the process of doing codings so that people can understand what do you code. Um, reproducibility, replicability, and data science, okay? Um, they are related. If uh, something is reproducible, it means that the same result can be re recreated by you know, following specific set of steps with consistent data set. It means that if you follow the same step, you can you know, produce or reproduce uh, the same results, the same analysis. All right. So, um, and it is written here that over the past a few decades, the, the entire field of scientific research has been facing a replication crisis. And why this? Because there have been studies where, you know, there have been projects or big studies where, you know, new people or new scientists cannot reproduce the results, okay? So, uh, questions have have emerged that you know can you trust projects if you cannot replicate the results okay can you trust them can you trust those who 
did the project, okay, did the study. Um, why reproducibility matters and how to make it work? Um, all right, it matters because if you want to guarantee the robustness of your work, it must be reproducible, okay? If you can't reproduce, how can people trust you? All right, if you say that, you know, I've done this, you know, I've done this, okay, I did this yesterday, the result come out like this, but today, I'm sorry, I can't do that. You know, the results are different. Can you, you know, trust what you have done? Can other people trust what you have done? Okay. So, it is important that uh, you must make sure that there is a repeatable method for everything. Okay. Um, <coughs> uh, which also includes the importance of documentations of your process okay you have to document your process so that you know people can go and look at your documents and and check what you have done not just check maybe they want to do the same thing so instead you of you telling them you know step by step you know you just give the document and a good document will enable that person to uh, to replicate or to reproduce your, your, your analysis. And, and it is also important that you have to keep every version of everything. And that also includes workflows and that also includes data. So we want to document every step of the analysis, every step of the workflow and every type of data. Because, you know, sometimes you work with data A and you do some, you know, uh, transformation now it becomes a version one then you do uh, further um, modification and becomes data a version two something like that so on and so forth right so it is very important to, to keep you know uh, different versions of, of the file you know um, so literate programming um, literate programming, um, there are tools for that, okay, there are tools for that. Um, uh, basically, is um, um, representations from a literate source file. There is a source file, okay, and uh, um, one suitable for further compilations or executions by a computer, and another one for viewing as formatted documentations. So, you have you know, a code component and you have a, a woven component, right? So, we will see uh, this later, right? Um, one of the tools that is useful for us in data science is, is Markdown, okay? Markdown is a lightweight markup language and, you know, with plain text formatting. And then by using Markdown, you can convert your documents to, you know, HTML and many other formats, you know. Um, Markdown is available in R, okay. Markdown and R, you know, you combine them, combine them, you know, you have R Markdown, okay. So R Markdown documents, R Markdown documents uh, are fully reproducible, okay. So that's what we mean as as you know as as a literate programming tool. In R Markdown, you have code, you have text, and you have outputs. Okay. So how do we do this? How do we do this? Uh, we use uh, a, a something that we call as you know a notebook kind of interface, and then we weave together. The narrative text and code. So the 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 are uh, this component. You know, you got text where you tell your story, what you are doing, in plain language, and you've got codes. In this case, are codes. All right, and then you combine them in an R Markdown documents, and then you can run the document. You can run the, the document document and then you can have an output in the form of 
elegantly formatted output you know you have a, a, a formatted output ready after uh, uh, you know after the, uh, running of of the r markdown and at the same time um, r um, studio especially uh, does not only include r language but now you know uh, r studio can run python and can run uh, sql language uh, inside r studio for further information, you, you may want to go to rmarkdown.rstudio.com. This is what we meant by uh, an R Markdown document. Okay, this is R Markdown document where you have uh, narrative text. For example, here you write as using terrain colors. And there, there is uh, two hashtags there using terrain colors. People can understand that it means that you are using terrain and colors. You know, are colors right? Okay, and um, this is, you know, uh, line 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. These are R codes. Right, R codes. Because when you look at this line you you see you know something something cryptic you know uh, so these are our codes uh, and uh, tick 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 curly braces are curly braces and tick 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 uh, this uh, you know uh, this is what we call as r chunk okay r chunk okay so you got narrative text this one and you have R codes in code chunk, okay? Tick, tick, tick. Uh, curly braces R, tick, 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 okay? Where can you find this tick, tick, tick? This tick, tick, tick uh, is available on your keyboard, um, usually uh, under the escape button, under the escape button, um, just below the tilde, um, symbol okay on your left side all right on your left side of the of the keyboard all right <coughs> maybe I can show you it's something here all right mm. there okay um, what's next okay this is uh, an output okay an output in the same document, in the same document, in the same interface. So you have, uh, in the interface, you've got a narrative text, and then you have R codes, and you've got an output. So the combinations of all this is, uh, an, uh, is a R markdown document. Okay. So let's go to demo. Let's go to demonstration. Let's go to demonstration. What do we want to do next? All right. So before we go to here, before we go to here, let's go to your let's go to your Moodle uh, page, and in Moodle page, go to uh, week four, week five, and week six folder, and then um, click on the reproducible report. Click there. And I want you, I want you to download uh, this lecture notes. Okay, download this uh, folder inside uh, your computer. Um, you can uh, save whenever, wherever you want to save this folder. Okay. Um, maybe I can do this. Okay. Maybe we can do this together. Okay, uh, right, so show folder, I want to copy this, I want to move this to my document, mm, no, we, we just put that, okay, is let, let's, let's say this, you know, uh, in, in, inside your download f folder, let's get back to this later, right, so um, now we uh, go and uh, uh, start our R studio okay this is uh, our R studio 
um, interface okay and then uh, remember that you know whenever you want to start a new analysis a new um, data set then it is highly highly recommended to start with a new project okay so we go uh, here and we click file new project and then click new directory and click new project and then browse and let's say we want this to this uh, project to be located uh, under the home directory or under the my document directory no problem we, uh, we click document then open um, let's say we want to um, create uh, a working folder name as um, reproducibility okay Reproduci reproducibility okay hmm, I think it's correct then click create create project and then R will start with a, a clean interface and then um, there is um, um, a new file there reproducibility.rproj it means that uh, the uh, R project is ready so let's go back to um, the folder here then we can copy this copy all right and then we go to my documents and we look for reproducibility yeah it is here double click it then uh, you want to paste here and then we want to extract files okay it is extracted here okay um, and I want to delete this one because I don't want to use this anymore and then this is also important this is also important uh, what we want is uh, only this file right this one two three I mean this is the lecture notes okay and then this is a data set um, this is something that we're going to use later so I want to copy all of them Control C, and I want to move uh, here. Control V, right? And I don't need this anymore. I want to delete this. So what I want, what I'm doing here is I want to make sure that it is here. I mean, you can see this, okay? You, you know, I want the f uh, the file just now to be in the same location as the R produce the reproducibility dot r approach okay i want it i want them to be in a, in the same and uh, in the same folder all right so what's next okay we have done this um oh okay um i put the the name of the directory as my analysis doesn't matter okay doesn't matter you can write that as my analysis uh, I uh, you know I put that as reproducibility does not matter okay and then don't forget create project and then now go to uh, file new file and R markdown okay let's make let, okay um, go to file new file R markdown this one and then uh, title click uh, type my analysis and then HTML uh, default output format um, HTML and then click OK and you see uh, there is a, a, a file with untitled one and you can see uh, it is populated by you know um, some codes and some uh, narrative um, that is basically uh, you know um, um, R studio does just to make you know just to help you uh, as as new as uh, new users uh, to uh, to uh, R markdown okay what's next 
Next, um, okay, we see here uh, there is an untitled file, okay, untitled file with um, dash 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 dash, okay, this one and this one, right? And what else? Um, this is what we call as th the whole thing, okay. The whole thing here is what we call as a YAML header. Uh, YAML stands for yet another markup language, all right? Um, and this is a uh, line 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. These are uh, narrative, okay? So you are telling a story there. You have a uh, hashtag, 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 R markdown. And you say this is an R markdown document. Markdown is a simple formatting syntax for altering HTML, PDF, and Microsoft Word documents. So this is like, you know, you are telling a, a story. And people can understand that. Right. Mm, so that is, uh, that is narrative. And then you have this. R codes. Okay, R codes. And R codes, this is the R code. And R code must stay inside this tick, 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 curly braces. Uh, R and then uh, another uh, curly braces. Oops, sorry. Um, must be curly braces there. And then uh, you must end with uh, uh, tick, tick, tick. Okay, another uh, ticks there. Another three ticks. Okay, must be three ticks. Okay, three ticks here and three ticks here, okay? And then curly braces and curly braces and must have R here, okay? Must have small R there. Same thing here, uh, you see, um, this is another uh, narrative and this is another R codes. And you have uh, tick, 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 curly braces R. Oops, again, I've done something Wrong, okay, and then curly braces, uh, R code, and then tick, tick, tick. Okay. Actually, it's back ticks, okay, they are back ticks, not ticks, okay, they are back ticks. And then what I want you to do is to um, go to packages and type R markdown, go to packages and type R mark down all right and i want you to see whether i want you to check whether you can see or not our markdown here if you don't see this one it means that you have not installed our markdown okay so i want you to go to package and type our markdown and i want you to see whether you can see this whether you have or whether, whether your R Studio has R Markdown or not. If you don't see R Markdown here, it means that your R Studio does not have R Markdown package. So if you don't see R Markdown package, you need to install the package. Alright, you need to install it. And how to install uh, R Markdown package? There are two ways. Number one, you can go to um, our console here and then you can type uh, install uh, dot uh, packages then uh, apostrophe and r mark down okay r mark down and then click enter click enter I don't want to install this because I've got that already so I don't want to install install this, all right? Um, <coughs> or the other method is to <coughs> the other method is to go to this button install and uh, install from repository, and then uh, type r mark down. You see the r mark down there, and then click install. Make sure you tick install dependencies. 
Alright, I don't want to install this. I've got that already. Alright. So, um, um, again, what's inside the .rmd file? This is our markdown file. This is our markdown file and with .rmd. Okay. So, you have uh, three types of content. You got this uh, YAML header. Okay, this is YAML header. And then uh, you have um, um, R code chunks, okay, R code chunks surrounded by uh, back ticks, okay, ticks, 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 three ticks here, three ticks here, and you have uh, curly braces and curly braces here. And then you have, uh, in this document, you can see that they, uh, it consists of text mixed with simple text formatting, okay, this is you know, R markdown, you write, you type something, okay? Okay, this is like, you know, the story, okay? And this is the R codes, okay? A combination of story or narratives and codes. Let's go back here. Uh, right, we have, uh, again, you know, notice that file contains three types of content, YAML header, this bit, R code chunk, this bit, okay, and text mix with simple text formatting. Okay, what I want you to do now is to save this file, alright? I want you to save this file. Okay, I want you to save this file. And click save. Save, okay. And we want to save with what name? My analysis, alright? My underscore analysis. You can give whatever name you want, all right? And then click enter. And now we go to files. You can see uh, a file, a new file named my underscore analysis dot rmd. Okay, good. You can see here, right? Okay. So um, now you're actually uh, using the uh, the template file you can you know uh, render the file you know just to see what will happen you know what you can uh, produce from this r markdown so yeah this is uh, this is uh, you know this can also be done uh, in two ways number one you can type okay you can uh, type library r markdown Okay, and then uh, type render first markdown dot rmd. Okay, render. It means that I want to render this into uh, into something. Render what? I want to render uh, my analysis dot rmd. Okay. All right. So and then I click. And then it runs, and what do you get? You have this file, okay? My analysis HTML open in editor. Or maybe we open with uh, browser, okay? Open view in browser. There you go, okay? There you go. You see, um, uh, you know, uh, a report generated from this R markdown, okay? Right. You see, because this is our markdown document, this is our markdown document. So they are the same thing, right? So you got a combination of a narrative, you got combin uh, of, of uh, R codes, and then, uh, and then you render this, and you, know, you got a nice output, right? Let's close this one. Okay, what's next? Um, oh, what you uh, oh, what you can do is just go and click this knit button, knit, and knit to HTML. Right, and there you go. You see a a nice HTML output. All right, a nice HTML output. 
so you can see uh, you know uh, narrative here and you can see the outputs here R codes here and also this is plot here you can also you can also um, click this uh, green uh, button here green arrow there it means that you want to run this chunk okay you want to run this chunk run it then run it okay you can see so you got a uh, results uh, within the R markdown documents all right ah yeah you can also need to micro Microsoft Word okay how to do this how to do this uh, easy go back to need and then click need to word takes uh, a few seconds and then yeah there you go you have a, a nice Microsoft Word document which is generated from the R Markdown document okay. you will not see YAML meta YAML metadata right YAML header you will you will not see so you can uh, so this is read only so you can close it and you can edit later So this is what we did just now. Need to HTML. Uh, if you if you remember uh, when we talk about uh, our installations, I advise you to, I recommend not advice but recommend you to install a LaTeX editor. For example, make text or or, or make text, and um, with LaTeX editor you can uh, need. To PDF, okay. Need to PDF. Uh, in your case, you can do you can do this, uh, okay. You you can do this because you don't have LaTeX editor. Un after you install LaTeX editor, then only you can need to PDF. Um, all right. If how to uh, how to quickly um, get this R code chunk, okay. To quickly uh, get the R code chunk, okay, let's go back to this uh, R Markdown document. Let's go to a few lines below, and what you to to do this quickly, you can you know use your fingers, okay, uh, by pressing Control Alternate I, all right? Control Alternate I, Control Alternate I, all right? I forgotten how uh, you know, what, what what is the the, the shortcut for Mac. Okay, you have to try try and look how uh, how to do that. Okay. Uh, right. What else? Okay. Now, what I want you to do now, what I want you to do is uh, let's let's go to line fourteen. Okay, line fourteen, and just select all and just delete it okay just delete this one okay just delete this one okay until you got nothing and let's type this all right let's type this okay okay um, type this is my first setting hashtag this is my first heading and then what else uh, and this and these are bullets Uh, okay, tag. Uh, what we call this? Um, dash. Is it dash or what? Okay. Um, and then write as this is bullet. Bullet one. Dash. Bullet two. Dash. Bullet three. Right. And then uh, um, this is, and then type this is my second heading. Remember, you have to have two hashtags here, right? Um, and then type this is bold and this is italic. Type this is this is star star bold star star and 
star italic star right and what else okay this is my third heading hashtag 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 this is my third heading um, and right now I will show first six observation of data empty cars now I will show the I will show the the first oops ah uh, no uh, are you nope I don't want to answer that. Uh, cancel okay I accidentally press something now I will show the first the first um, six observations of data empty cars And we want to uh, write a code, so you have to create an R code chunk. You have to insert R code chunk. How to do that? You can type take, 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 curly braces, R, okay. Enter, enter, take, take, take. And inside this, you type R codes, okay. For example, this R code is my data, my empty cards, my data left arrow empty cars and then what else um hit my data hit my data hit is a function to uh, show the first six observations all right and then what's next oops and now i will show data summary and type another go uh, down and type now i will summarize my data and then i uh, to be quick i i want to use the shortcut so i in uh, on window i uh, press control alternate i okay and uh, i i type what what is that summary my data summary my data and line 43 the mean of mpg the mean of mpg mpg is our mean that okay is uh, another tick there and then small r mean um my data dollar sign mpg all right and don't forget another tick there all right another tick there tick t-i-c-k all right mm, okay um we can run first uh our codes right Be, uh, before uh, we need okay we run first okay for example i click this one okay uh nothing happens good okay and then i click this one okay it will uh it will you know show the first of uh the first six observations of the uh, data set uh, name empty cars let's go down and then click this one and then uh, this uh, uh function return the summary of the data the minimum the maximum the mean the median and so on and so forth all right so you can run that green button you know to execute uh, each uh, code okay um, or you can uh, need the whole document okay so now what we want to do is um, mm, right so and what's next okay next is we want to okay let's do this again so i want you to write bold and italic with one hashtag uh, one hashtag bold and italic and then um, star star 
bold star star and star italic star all right okay oh i want you to make into uh into bullets so okay so let's go back here and then make a uh dash there and then another dash there okay and you have to have space here okay you have to have space there okay you have to have space here and you have to also have to have space here right okay now we want to insert an image insert to insert an image you uh uh type this okay you have to type exclamation mark and then um a square bracket and then uh, uh, brackets okay square bracket and then bracket right so um, let's do this let's go to line okay uh, exclamation mark and then square bracket and then bracket okay and inside a uh, square bracket let's type um, um this is the captions for the r logo okay let's type this is the uh, caption for our logo okay and this is the name of the uh the image okay what's that our logo that dot jpg which is this one all right our logo dot jpg all right ah there you see something come out all right all right so um if you want to insert table uh, you can uh, use a table generator uh, for example let's go to this website uh, tables generator okay allow this um let's say we type this one as var one and then uh, var two var three can we delete this column remove and this one remove this is uh let's say this is m malay um, let's say this one is um, positive, positive, negative, negative. All right. This is number two, number four, number four, number six. This is like one hundred, two hundred, and whatever number you want to put. Okay, one fifty. And then uh, there is a button generate here. Uh, click this generate. And then uh, there is a button copy to clipboard. Copy to clipboard. Then go back to R Markdown and then um, maybe you can type this is my table. Then Ctrl V paste it. Okay. Let's go back to okay here. So you know, um, maybe you can, or you can you know, instead of doing what I've done, you know, uh, just you know, uh, type this one var mean standard deviation median IQR. You know, generate and uh, copy to clipboard. All right, and then um, you can also insert hyperlink. Okay, so let's say we go here and. Uh, let's write these are the hyperlinks okay so um, learn more about R at http kegel.com learn kegel at um, okay let's go kegel Kegel, okay. K 
Okay, go copy and then put here control V learn R here mm, R tutorial for example mm, copy and paste here right we don't need this anymore we don't need this anymore um, um, okay, I won't go to this. If you uh, are interested to insert um, math formula, okay, you have to know about uh, latex equation. We won't go there. Or maybe you can try. Okay, maybe you can try. Uh, there is a short function there. It's short, uh, it's just a simple uh, math formula. So this is my super math formula which is uh, dollar sign dollar sign and between the dollar sign uh, we write we want to make a, a formula based on fraction okay frac okay then curly braces curly braces curly braces and curly braces let's say we put this one uh, 4 over 9 okay 4 over 9 right there Okay, and let's save this. Okay, let's save our file. Uh, click button save, right? And then, uh, mm, then we we try. Let's let's nick this. Okay, let's nick this, and click here, and then nick to HTML. There you go. You see uh, a nice. Um, a nice uh, what we call um, document uh, comes out all right so this is the uh, my analysis your name date this is my first heading and these are bullets this is my second heading third heading so on and so forth this is uh, a, 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 an image that we inserted before and this is the mean of the mpg this is the table that we did before and these are the hyperlinks and this is a fraction here uh, quite tiny there all right so um let's need to word go to need and go and click need to word and you have uh, a nice um, uh, word documents um, you can edit this you know, like an auditory, ordinary uh, Word document. Let's close this. And then um, if I, um, in my case, I've got a latex document, so I can, you know, uh, need to uh, PDF. Um, right, so I'll, uh, so I'll have this, you know, nice, um, Mm, you know PDF documents you know we got also uh, some uh, what we call uh, navigation here right so summary uh, our markdown is a very versatile and useful document you know uh, you can write documents uh, in PDF format web page HTML you can even write thesis or manuscript okay you can even build your website using uh, R Markdown. So uh, it is a useful tool for reproducibility. Uh, the the uh, learning curve is not that steep. It's, it's, uh, it's something that you know, we can learn quite quickly. Uh, and the return on investment is, is great. So I, I highly recommend that you go to, to rmarkdownstudio.com gallery um, and and here you can see you know different types of of of, of uh, documents uh, produced uh, from our markdown okay so um, other resources include uh, this our markdown cheat sheet you know uh, it's very difficult to memorize all the function you can have you know 
a small cheat sheet for you to refer to quickly. Um, this is a website by rstudio.com where you can learn um, in greater details about our uh, our markdown. All right. So um, you know this this uh, maybe as a as a as 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 a group. You can start, you know, make a reproducible report, you know, using R Markdown. Um, maybe you can plan an analysis, you know, based on previous lecture. What you want to do, what you want to analyze, which data you want to analyze. What story you want to tell inside the R Markdown document. Uh, make, a, you know, a, a, a plot, okay, make a, a story plot, okay. And each plot there are, you know, narrative and there are R code chunks that and there are results okay so um, uh, choose a heading and subheadings based on the uh, one hashtag two hashtag three hashtags okay um, you know uh, feel free to share with 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 us you know this is not mandatory but hi I highly recommend you to 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 do this um, and you know, um, use a code chunk to read data in the um, uh, inside your model. You got this uh, data sets, you know, absenteeism, credit risk data, um, housing data. So they are good data for you to to work on. Um, and try to insert images. If your image is too big, you know, you can. Uh, Make it small first before you uh, insert it. Uh, make a few links to um, relevant web pages. Maybe you want to uh, insert uh, tables using the uh, uh, table generator. Um, and then you know, and then you need the document to HTML or Word or PDF. So. Um, um, there are also ad more advanced uh, things. For example, you can make your own blog using Blockdown. You can write books, you know, using Bookdown. You can make presentations um, using Zaringan package and many other things. Okay, um, I've um, have made uh, a, a dashboard for COVID. Um, for COVID, uh, so this is um, uh, a dashboard for COVID that I have um, and my team have uh, created using our uh, markdown. Okay, um, not too complicated. Okay, um, so um, yeah, I guess um, I guess. Um, our markdown is 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 very useful. Uh, it's very useful. Um, it, it is not difficult to learn it. All right. So some of the references that you might want to read is by um, Leek and Peng and Leek, and also um, um, Prasad Patil, uh, Jeffrey, and also Peng. Um, yes, I guess uh, that's all. Um, um, have a go. You know, um, and. Um, you know, if you got any problem, uh, let us know. Um, post your questions inside the forum, and we we'll try to to help one another. Okay, take care. Okay, bye.